Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss a question that is generally asked in the RHCSA exam based upon the containers. So if you have searched for the type of container questions being asked, you might have come across such a question wherein they ask you to create a container named let's suppose web1 from the image and they give you the address. Let us suppose that the address here is docker.io slash centos slash httpd. So this means that they want you to download the image or pull the image httpd and container and create a container from this. And they want you to do this from the user named Nick. Then the variation can be that they ask you to map a port, for example, 8080 onto the 80. So a local port onto the port in the container. And they might ask you to mount a volume that is a directory on the system to a corresponding directory onto the container. The second part will be that whatever container you have created to run it as a system disservice and they will ask you to name the service as something for example container hyphen web 2 dot service. So the image might change it might not be httpd it might be rsyslog it might be anything else but the concept will remain same right. So let us see all these in steps what steps you should follow and you will be certainly able to solve this question. The question was you need to do it for a user named Nick. So you need to check whether that particular user is in the system or not. So you need to look into the past WD file. So it's not there in my system. So what we can do is as the root user, you can create the user Nick, give it a password or you can delete the password, whatever doesn't matter. If they specify the password, then you can give the password like this right now whatever you have supposed to do you must do it as the user name so we need to ssh into the user don't use su use ssh as yes and now type in the password who am i now we are into the user Nick. So the user is created. We have logged into the user. Next you need to log in to registry.redhat.io or it might be any other registry mentioned in the question. So username and password they will give. For practice you need to type in the username and password for the account developers.redhat.com if you don't have an account there create an account developers.redhat.com and use that username and password here so we are successfully logged in next you need to pull the image so podman pull is the command address is already given in the question so docker.io slash centos slash httpd so the image is being downloaded. The image is downloaded now. We can check Podman images. So you can see that the image is there. Image ID is also mentioned. Now this is one part where you have downloaded the image. Now you need to create a container from this image. So they might simply ask you to container. They might ask you to map the port. They might ask you to map the port as well as the volume. So your command will remain the same podman run hyphen d is detached mode. This is very important. Then you give the name whatever name is given in the question. So let's suppose it is web2 in this case or web1 and then you will write the name of the image or the image id you can write to cc press tab it will auto complete. Okay this is one part. Let's suppose this is just they ask you to do this get a simple container podman ps. So if you get an entry here, this means that the container is created. Now let's suppose they ask you to map the port. In that case, let me change the name here. So you need to write minus P and then the ports that are asked to map. So let's suppose it is 8080 with the port 80. If they ask you to map the volumes also, in that case, they will ask you to map a 
directory on your system to a directory on the container. So ensure that the directory is created first. So let us create the directory. So mkdir where in home slash nick slash web. Let us suppose this is the directory that is asked to be mapped onto the container directory. Now podman run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name let's say web2 minus p so if it is 80 80 to 80 if it is not mentioned you can skip this hyphen v home nick web mapped with slash var slash www slash html they will tell you with which directory to map then the container important thing here to remember is you must close this with capital Z colon capital Z to allow for SC Linux context this is very important otherwise it will not run it will cause some issues okay so make sure you end it with colon Z podman ps so you can see now web2 is also created web1 we created earlier so this is one part of the question where they will ask you to create the container second part will be to run the container as a service for that the first step is you must make a directory so use minus p option to create a hierarchy of directories because this hierarchy does not exist what is the directory in the home directory of the user so you need to create dot config system d so minus p is allowing us to create all these at once slash user this directory we need to create then we will move inside this directory with the cd command you need to memorize this conf dot config slash system d slash user so once you have moved inside it if i do ls there's nothing as of now now you need to run the command podman generate system d hyphen hyphen name and then whatever name of the service is mentioned okay let us suppose it is container hyphen web2 dot service hyphen hyphen files space hyphen hyphen new very important arguments hyphen hyphen files hyphen hyphen new okay sorry so because the why I am getting the error because the container that I created was with the name web2 so I should not write here container hyphen web2 it should be web2 only it will automatically create it as dot service right how to check so you can see it has already automatically created it with the name container hyphen web2 dot service I can do ls now and you can see the configuration file is automatically created with the name that was that I wanted container hyphen web2 dot service but you will write web2 which was the name of the container that we created earlier with podman run now in this file you just need to check one thing everything is automatically entered okay you need not to do anything just scroll down and show that here in the end it is wanted by default dot target it will be like this but just give a check make sure it is default dot target now you need to run system ctl hyphen hyphen user daemon reload then you can start the service system 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 ctl hyphen hyphen user start container web2 dot service the service is started we can check let's enable it also so that it automatically starts on the next boot done we can check the status now it is running so that's it for the question for the exam one more thing you can check is now why this mapping has been done why we used minus v what's the uh, 
significance of that so if i want to host a page which is in my system how do i do it i need to create that page inside that home nick web directory okay so let's move into that slash home slash nick slash web if i create here a page let's suppose index.html this is a sample web page save it now we can try to host it using the curl command curl localhost what was the port remember 8080 we have mapped and which page index.html and you can see that the page is hosted this was the reason of mapping so that whatever web page you want to host you can create it on your local machine and using the container you can host it now there can be one change in this rather than asking you to create the directory slash home slash nick slash web if they simply ask you to map slash web if they ask you to map this with var www.html now the point to note here is slash web means what the web directory on your system is created in the root as nick you cannot create slash uh, a directory inside the root directory right so what you will do here is i repeat again as a normal user you cannot create a directory web inside the root directory okay so what you need to do here is you can exit so you are back as the root user we can move into the slash directory create web here okay so ls you can see now web is here so slash web is created web inside the root but if i check ls minus l for web the owner is root not nick so what you should do here is change own user owner as well as the group both should be nick for slash web and now you should do ssh setup is ready now the rest of the things will remain exactly same all right so i hope that if this question comes to you in the exam with a little bit of modification also you will be able to handle it now there's one more variation that you find on the net i'll discuss that in the next video